Yes. Mm -hmm. You know, this is probably the last video for today. Would I like to speak to Marilyn about suing Mike Van Proyen? Poop. And then suing those in office that thought they had no fiduciary obligation for the enforcement of the laws. Mm -hmm. Now, um, just going through it, mm -hmm. uh, there's what's known as proximate cause. Mm -hmm. A cause that is legally sufficient to result in liability. <laughs> now, um, this idea of making declarations where you know it's fraudulent what you're saying. Yes. That would be criminal conspiracy, criminal contempt, and then there's that criminal conversation that I'm wanting to have. Yes. Because the color of process, the appearance and validity of sufficiency surrounding the actual legal proceeding where you admitted to the court as the declaration as being true, yes, when it was a lie. Now, um, I'm going to want all the declarations of every individual that thought, yes, that being a petitioner allowed for you the fraud of your color of process, yes. Because uh, the truth is, um, the color of office are vested with, or appear to be vested with, the authority of the entrusted office. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Now, of course, we never thought about the color of process being the party named as the petitioner. Yes. And the party named as being responded. And I, as respondent, never received any of the color of process of the dissolution of marriage yes after i responded <coughs> and i didn't receive any of the color of process for each and every time the petitioner motioned the court that means every declaration now i want to speak to marilyn pooch and i think that these redundant rules yes requiring uh best interest yes I am one of those that will actually sue, yes. Now, these advisors, yes. Could you get me the IP addresses of the broker check? Yeah. I've been on there numerous times, yes. And I thought there was some fraud involved in that arbitration. And I mentioned a $150 billion lawsuit for every employee of FINRA, the SEC, and the other federal independent agencies. Yes that thought they had no fiduciary obligation right now. <laughs> now, give me um, uh, the Paulindian Registry. Yeah, the Garrett Planning Network. In fact, when you go through all the register representatives, yeah, give me the advisors and those that actually advise. Yeah. Now, we're working with about an $8.5 trillion market. Yes, and I am wanting to use the judicial system. I am wanting to speak to Marilyn Pooch. And then I'm wanting to know the advisors of all of the charitable trusts. Yes, the foundations. Yes. Now, can I get all the reverse mortgages? Yes. It, it, it's one of these where no one seems to feel that it's in the best interest of the United States to do what you've sworn. <laughs> because no one seems to feel. Yes. That I have a fiduciary obligation, a fiduciary obligation. Now, I think you do. And I think that if I could use the actual court system, when you receive a lawsuit from me, you will feel the actual fiduciary obligation of being a federal or state employee. Yes. That has sworn. <laughs> now give me all the IP addresses of every web page and website <laughs> of the Social Security Administration. <laughs> all of those that have been applied for Social Security, yes, their actual benefits. And then these teachers, yes, that are going to retire, yes, just give me each and every one of the retirement plans of America's teachers that said, well, it's not my best interest. <laughs> I have no fiduciary obligation to enforce the civil rights rights of students that happen to be in the wrong grades. Yes, I have no fiduciary obligation to enforce the civil rights of American citizens. <laughs> I have no fiduciary obligation to enforce the, well, the adopted rights of a, a foreign right now. Mm -hmm. And then there's that woman, Marilyn. Yes, Marilyn. Yes, Marilyn. Mm. You know, I don't think that's Marilyn in that YouTube video. I want to live with Marilyn. <laughs> so just give me all the actual retirement 
accounts and the advisors of all the teacher retirement accounts and all the social security and then all of those that manage Ouch. now this veterans pension scam yeah it really isn't uh-huh i would disagree with consumer reports on this yes when you go through the ebenefits.va.gov, yeah, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. in fact, go through the veterans, the va.gov, <laughs> I'd like to know all the accreditation of those that are accredited to help those that are veterans, yes, and then every IP address, which email address, 20 miles down, of every person that went to the Veterans Administration to find out what their benefits are. <laughs> now, if you do not understand the pension and aid and attendance benefit yes you should mm -hmm. uh, so get you should okay you should okay now get me all of the veterans IP at all of the teachers IP at all you know, right now all give me all of this.